Hello, in this video we're going to use R and the delta method to approximate distributions of functions of the sample mean. So for instance, what's the distribution of the, of the sample mean? What's the distribution of the square root of the sample mean? What's the distribution of the sample mean squared, etc. And so uh, on paper we're going to use the delta method to show what it, you know it or that method indicates should be the approximate distribution and then we're going to go into R and simulate the this and see how close the simulated results are with the theoretical results so let's uh, jump right in first let's let X be um, IID with some distribution F okay it could be normal could be binomial etc uh, assume that it has some mean that's not zero and some variance um, and the and if it's zero then I may do another video this is a side note for those special cases but for this video we're going to assume it's not zero uh, and let the sample mean rep be represented by X bar so the central limit theorem says that this difference this no, this uh, statistic here approaches normality with a zero sigma squared so um, for a given n and so this is an asymptotic result and so you can't say what's the limiting distribution of x bar because in a sense it doesn't make sense it limits to the mean it goes to a point and so there's no distributional aspects to it and so you have to multiply it by some number to contain it so if you multiply it by too big, bit too big of a number, then it goes to infinity. And if you uh, don't divide by a big enough number, then it goes to a point. And so it ends up this square root of n is the magic number that creates this distribution. And so this limits to a normal zero sigma squared. But now we say for a given n, so n gets big, 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 and it gets closer and closer to this normal distribution. At some point, you, you stop. Okay, so for a given n. Then we can say x bar is approximately distributed with this normal mu sigma squared over n distribution. Okay, and you get that by you divide this over and take it in. That's where the n is. And then you add mu to bo both sides. And so for a given n, this is the approximate distribution. Okay. And so, and, and again, just to emphasize the point, point, you can't really say what's the limiting distribution of the sample mean. Because it doesn't make sense. It limits to a point. But anyway, that's where we are. So now let's find the approximate distribution of the square root of n okay so notice I didn't say the limiting distribution I just said the approximate distribution of the square root of n okay so it, it goes to this point uh, so let's let f be the square root of x and the first derivative is this so now by the delta method that we know that the square root of x minus square root of mu that's x bar times sigma or square root of n has a limiting distribution that's normal zero sigma squared over uh, two four mu which is the square of this evaluated at mu okay so then for a given n we can uh, we can divide this n over and that's where that n and then we can add uh, square root of mu to both sides so for a given n it's approximately distributed um, with this normal distribution okay so now let's look at what's the approximate distribution of, of x bar squared so let's let f of x be uh, x squared and the first derivative of this and oh I probably should say if you want more details on the the delta method then I have a video called delta method and so where we go in and uh, give the details of what it is and a proof of it so here um, so to find the approximate distribution of x squared, um, the delta method says that this quantity has a limiting distribution that's normal, 0, uh, 4, mu squared, sigma squared. And um, now if we take 
the square root of n to the other side, that's this, and then we add mu squared, we get this. So x bar squared is roughly distributed like this for a given n. Um, now let's find the approximate distribution of this quantity. And now what's interesting is my first thought was, oh, this is standard normal, and this limits to this normal, so maybe we can use the, uh, the continuity theorem to, to say that, you know, it's the limiting distribution of these two normals, which is again normal. But you'd be mistaken because these two random variables are not independent of each other. So you can't apply that method. So if this was Xn and this was Yn and their limiting distributions are independent of each other, or, you know, or the statistics are independent of each other, then you can add those two distributions together. But they're not independent, so you can't do that. So we have to find some function that is going to uh, change the, the uh, central limit theorem result to what we want. And that function is this. It's x plus x squared over the square root of n. So the first derivative is this, 1 plus 2 over the square root of n times x. So then when we take um, f of x bar, we get this. And and f of uh, mu, we get this. Then, um, and that is has a limiting distribution of zero and this, where it's the square of this evaluated at mu. Then, um, we so then we can move this minus mu with this one and do that, and then take the square root times this and this, and uh, take the mu squared over, and we get this. So this is approximately, or has a limited distribution of this. Okay, so that's it. And so now let's use R to simulate these results for a normal and a binomial and see if they're close to what the delta method theory says they should be.